All right, what we've got here is a 2007 Hilo Classic. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me here. Hopefully the camera lens doesn't get too beat up because it is um, raining out at the moment, so. Up in front here, power tongue jack. I guess I'll go around the side here. Looks like you've got an exterior shower. Got a little, a little bump out. Not a classic slide, obviously, being as a high-low, but it folds out. Gives you a bunch more room. Tires. I know everyone's always interested in tread and whatnot, so we'll get you in there. Take a look at that. Looks like you got some outside storage. Obviously, your water heater. Pass here on the bumper. Get a higher up look here. I mean, overall, looks like it's in pretty fair condition. I'm not seeing anything on the exterior that's um, jumping at me. Tires aren't 100% perfect, I'd say. Got a little bit of dry rot going on. But, you know, that's to be expected on an aged unit like this. Let me get you in. And here, bear with me just a moment. I'm going to wipe that lens off. So when you walk in, obviously your dinette. You've got your fridge over that way. You've got a couch in that portion that kind of folds out. And the front here, this is where you've got your kitchen. Double sink. Stove and oven. You do have a high output burner up in front here. Looks like you got some stereo speakers, day night shades. I guess I've never opened this up, but you've got a little bit of storage down here. Another one over on this side. That will actually make into a window up front. You do get a stereo over here in the corner. Look up on the top here. This plastic thing right here is just uh, over the sink area. Looks like you got a little sliding piece for your door over that way. Show you the top corners here. I guess I'm not seeing any anything jumping at me. There are a few stains in the carpeting. Nothing terrible. System monitor panel. I actually put a phone line in this, so that's kind of interesting. And then someone else who had this prior put an outside temperature gauge, so I mean it is raining, but at least it's pretty nice out. I guess we'll zip you down here and take a look. Got some shelving. Obviously your chairs, your table does fold down. And we get into the bath area. Pretty straightforward. Got some cabinets. You got your uh, toilet. You've got your shower. Obviously your spray points up top here. A little little head headroom up that way gives you a little room shower curtain that would spin around you do have a bathroom vent um, when you guys are using the restroom you got a little curtain that'll slide over once you close the door so kind of closes you off obviously one on the other side let's move into the rear so we're hopping into the bedroom here Looks like you've got a bunch of hanging storage in here. Looks like you have access from the top and from the side here. Kind of sliding panel. That's kind of cool. This right here, this cord, is plugged in down over here. Um, I'm going to guess that that powers your AC. And when you drop it down, obviously you want to unplug it. Looks like you've got a queen size bed. You do have a power outlet on that side over there. Rear speakers, rear window, side windows, you know, some cabinets here and there. With the high-low, you normally get the shelf right here, so you can obviously put stuff there when you're using the unit, but as far as uh, longevity, I guess I wouldn't leave it there if you're running the unit down. Kind of get you in the top corners here. I know everyone likes to see those from a water leakage standpoint. 
so I mean to me it doesn't look bad at all cabinet space here on the wall yeah you got your back so if you're standing in the back looking forward this is kind of what she looks like Oof. a little bit of an edge over here I just tripped on Ooh, I missed uh, to show you this you do have a power fan in here and they call it what a fantastic fantastic fan if I do recall AC vent goes um, obviously from the front to the rear And you do have another fantastic power vent up front here by the kitchen. And this looks like it actually has a temperature sensor in it. So yeah, great unit. It isn't as is, as it is um, a little bit older than we want. So it's going to be a hook and haul unit. Come on in, take a look. Hook it up, haul it home.